lunch. No, no, we can't go to lunch until they go on the air. I still say we should eat at Hank's Hamburger Hut like we always now, do. wait just a minute. When we decided to go into big business, that means that we're going to have to eat from now on where the big tycoons eat. Well, this is one tycoon that's very hungry. Let's go. Yeah, we'll know the show has started, though, when the MC hits the stooge in the face with a powder puff and we hear everybody laugh. It must be 12 o'clock by now. They should be on the air. Yeah, I wonder what's holding them up. I'll take a look at the safe. Satisfactory, gentlemen. Mm. This is very pleasant. This is very nice. How about you, Fred? Is this all right for you? It's fine. It's fine. It's all right for the two of us. Merci. Won't you be seated, please? Would you care for a, a cocktail before lunch? No, but perhaps we... Uh, I'll have a mall a little later on. How about you, Fred? No, thanks. I'm driving. Mm. <laughs> I will go get the menus. You're excused. This item may seem insignificant. Tremendous import. Freddy, all I can say is, if we keep associating with men like those, we'll be in the higher income brackets just like that. Gentlemen, you may. Thank you. Sure. Excuse me. Pardon me. Turn in a few moments, gentlemen, after you have decided on your order. This part? Yes, yes, part. Yes, yes, Come on, get it down, get it down, get it down. I'm not looking at this. If this is the luncheon menu, I'd, I'd hate to see the dinner menu. Well, don't look like a tourist. Just pick up the menu and start reading. Well, never mind about the French... Reading and let's worry about the American prices. It's, uh, it's no good, Chester. The cheapest thing on the menu is ten cents. Rich. How much? I don't ten agree. Ten cents? With where, you, do, where do you see that? Right down at well, the bottom. Look. Whereabouts? No. Oh, I see it. I see it. You know, something smells awfully good in here. I don't know. Hey. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, sir, but you see, we, we started reading how high the prices were, and, and the, well, the menu just caught on fire. <laughs> Please, just read the menus, and no more jokes. Oh, Francois. Yes, Mr. Robbins. Could you open the wine, please? Immediately, monsieur. I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen. Very sorry. A thing like this has never happened in my establishment. It's quite all right, Francois. Thank you, monsieur. Oh, I got it. No, 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 it's fine. I got it. He's a member. Excuse me, excuse me, gentlemen, but I caught your cork. <laughs> well, well, thank you very much, young man. I'm terribly sorry, right. gentlemen. Excuse me, sir, but you gentlemen are probably big businessmen and talking about business of some kind, and you're probably your time means. Yes, yes, right, we are, young man. Yes. Yes. Well, may I say that my friend and I who are seated right over here next to you, to your left, I don't want to point. We plan on going into business, very big business, in the near future ourselves. Well, good luck, old Thank man. you. Yeah. I must have... Like I'd like to introduce him to you, if I may, to yeah. Freddie. I'd like you to know Freddie Devlin. Freddie. Uh, Freddie, I'm introducing you to Freddie Devlin, gentlemen, my partner. Oh, and he's got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of personality yeah. for any kind of business. You Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Very much. Thank, you. Like Thank you, sir, very much. Well, I've been so coming like here for 20 uh, years, and I... I'd like to say that we might merge you sometime in the very near future. Yes, yes, yes. You merger, young man. You merger. Thank you. Very kind well, that's a, that's a step in the right direction. Here, only a few minutes, and right away we meet a couple of big business tycoons, just like that. I saw in the paper where the K and W department store chain is up for sale. We might be able to snap that up at a good price. Funny, I had the same idea. I figured three quarters of a million dollars can get us an option on the deal. How about the balance of the money? Very simple: float a capital issue and sell stock. That's what we'll do. Of course, we'll float a capital issue. Is that how we're going to pay for the lunch? There's another way to cut the lunch, I told you. Well, we can't close the deal sitting here. Let's get going. Francois, check, please. 
Thank you very much, gentlemen. This way. Bye, sir. <laughs> Smooth as silk, eh? So this is how they do it. If they can find business opportunities in here, we can do the very same thing, Freddy. I'll just look in the business section of the paper here, that's all. All right, let me see the funnies. Funnies? Do you want to read the funnies, or do you want to be a big business tycoon? Business tycoons read funnies, too, you know. Yeah. Never mind about that, Fred. We've only got 15 minutes left to our lunch hour. We've got to use every second of it to find a business opportunity, to get an option on the place, and float a capital issue, and, and sell stock. <laughs> it's like a little lad that kills me. Hey, this, this sounds kind of interesting, Fred. Look at this. For sale, sacrifice, war surplus store. Successful, thriving business in business location. Complete stock of uniforms, rifles, mess kits, helmets, land mine detectors, etc. Owner retiring. War nerves. War nerves. <laughs> Address is 232 South... Why? Why, it, it must be right next door. Next door? The war surplus store. That's fate for you. Well, come on, let's get over there and close the deal. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They're not going to let it go for nothing. Where are we going to get the money? Well, we get paid today, don't we? Right. Well, then we'll go get our savings account out of the bank, and after we get off work, we'll go over and make a deal. Partner? Partner. Please say that you are ready to order, gentlemen. business, sir. Business? What's that? <laughs> nice place you have here, sir. Don't rub it in. Oh, well, I imagine with all of the customers you must have coming in here, you, you must be awfully busy. Yes, I'll, I'll bet you do get tired. Want to know something? You're the first human beings I've seen in weeks. Yeah, it, uh, it is kind of deserted in here, sir. Uh, tell me, when is the, the rush hour? Get a grip on yourselves. This is the rush hour. This is the... Well, pardon us, we must have come to the wrong place, that's all. What are you talking about, son? Well, you see, we thought this was a successful, thriving business in a, in a busy locale. You want to buy this place? Not now we don't. No, sir. Oh! Oh, 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 I guess I had you fellas fooled. You didn't know I was kidding you all along. Oh, 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 oh. You're kidding us? Oh, you know, I'm known for my sense of humor. You are. You know what they call me down at the bowling alley? No, sir. Ralph Swice of the Lamp a Minute Kid. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I fooled you, right? Right, sir. Yes. I had you believe in this place wasn't doing any business, right? Right, sir. You should have known right away I was kidding. You just have to look at this place to know it's a gold mine. <laughs> Uh, pardon me, sir, but could I ask you one little question? Where are all the customers? Are customers? You mean you really don't know? No, I, I don't know. Do you, I, I don't do know. you know? I... Come now, gentlemen. What day is this? Today. What is today? Today's Today. Today. Monday. Monday. Today, today's Monday. No, 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 no. What great holiday are we celebrating today? Holiday? Come now. You know just as well as I do, this is Washington's birthday. But I thought February 22nd was Washington's birthday. That's George Washington's birthday. I'm talking about Samuel Washington. S Samuel Washington? The glorious founder of this business. First in war surplus, first in lower prices, first in the hearts of the finance company. <laughs> Of a Samuel I, I never heard of history? him. I, in all my life, I never heard of him. He was a modest man. He hated publicity. You fellas drop around here tomorrow morning. You won't be able to get in that door. Customers will be lining up tonight, just like the World Series. <laughs> well, would you mind, sir, if I uh, had a little talk with my business associate? Oh, no, help yourself. <laughs> How much uh, do you want for your place here? Well, 
know. I'll sell you the whole kit and caboodle and throw in the five years lease. Uh, for, um, $2,000. Two thousand? One thousand dollars. Well, Grab it, fellas, before I regain my sanity. I've got a man coming around here in an hour that's offered me twice that. Twice as much? Well, why didn't you take it? I'm not money mad. <laughs> I love this little place. This merchandise is like my own family. I don't want to leave it to someone who will mistreat it. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. We haven't got a thousand dollars. All we have is $103 and We'll consider that a deposit just to show you're in good faith. <laughs> you're going to owe him $900. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, Fred. Look, would it be possible to buy the place on the layaway plan? No. Well, that's it. Get well, the then money. may we have the money? I'll please. give you 24 hours to raise the rest of it. Be back here with the money tomorrow at 5.30. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. You won't regret it. You must be out of your mind. Why, Fred? Where are we going to get $900 by tomorrow night? It took everything we had in the bank and both our salaries to get 103 Just a minute, partner. We are now in big business. Why, we have a 24-hour option. That means that we can float a capital issue and sell stock. Sell stock? That's right. Shrewd, mate. Clever? Clever. Thank you. It's all here. <laughs> Well, are you ready to take over? Yes, you bet we are, sir. And in behalf of my partner and myself, we wish to thank you for all that you have done for us. <laughs> well, there's your lease. And there's the bill of sale for all your merchandise. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm giving you the business. <laughs> <laughs> Seven canteens without corks. Seven canteens without corks. What's the price of these? 98 cents for those that hold water. 98 cents for those that hold water. And 20 cents for those that leak. 20 cents for those... <laughs> How many we got that leak? All seven of them. <laughs> canteens, 20 cents. Item may not go too well. We'll have to push it hard. What else you got? Twelve dozen infantry boots, all of them in excellent condition. Twelve dozen infantry boots, excellent condition. What are the sizes, please? All of them are size 15, triple D. <laughs> They're all 15, triple D? That's right. What is that, a popular size? Size, size, size don't worry me. Hmm? It's not the size. Something worrying you? Yeah. What's worrying you? What worries me is... All 12 dozen of them are for the left foot. All, all of the shoes are for the left foot? That's right. Did you check them good? I checked them, checked them. They're three, all for the left foot. Three times I checked them. Now I know why my feet were killing me in the army. I was wearing the mates. Look, tell me something honestly, Mick. Did we or did we not make a mistake buying oh, look, this look, store? wait a minute. Take it easy. Wait a minute. Don't get excited, please, Freddie. Look, we're not going to let left-footed shoes kill our business ability. Worst comes to worst, we'll bronze the shoes. We'll sell them for flower pots. Even if we sold them for flower pots, who would buy them? We've been here two days. I haven't one customer yet. I can't understand that. You know, maybe... Maybe they're going to celebrate Samuel Washington's birthday all week long. That's another thing. That's Samuel Washington. I've been thinking about him. Huh? Who ever heard of a guy named Samuel... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just think of business first, please. Fred. That's what I'm Just... thinking of. Business. There is no business. And another thing. Get a, get a load of this stock thing. This wait a minute. Stockholders... Wait a minute. Just a minute, please. Let's just count the inventory one thing at a time, please. It'll help me a lot. Now, you check against mine now. Here we go. Now, just check it for me, please. Four dozen defective mine detectors. Check. One gross of bent harpoons. Six cases of cans of outdated powdered eggs. Check. Ten thousand gaskets for bicycle pumps. Check. 
12 German Finnish dictionaries. Check. Eight cartons of compass needles. Check. Six gross army sunglasses with unbreakable lenses. Broken. Check. 36 reams of used carbon paper. Check. 1,500. Oh, this is, this is ridiculous. What's this, ridiculous? This is just as ridiculous. What are you talking about Look, now? am I a partner here or not? Of course you're a partner, Fred. Well, of then, course. then as a partner, I demand to have the floor. All right, all right, partner, take the floor. You now have the floor. I'll listen. All right. Now, <clears throat> I've been checking this list of stockholders. We gave your father 20%, right? Right. All right. My father got 20%, right? Right. Both our mothers got 10% each, right? Right. All right. We gave Mr. Brown 10%, right? Right. All the other pages at the network got 5%, right? Right. We gave out... 105% of the business. <laughs> we gave out 105% of 100%? 105% of the business. Oh, come on. Now, you check it again. Did you I, check? I checked it. I checked it four times already. I got four different totals. I picked the lowest one. All right, look. 105%? We sold of 100%? Now, do you agree that we have a problem? All right, all right, I'll admit we have a slight problem, but all tycoons have problems. It'll just give an added incentive to carry on, that's all. Well, 105% of 100% we sold. 105%. I don't get it. Freddy, I just can't fix a television set with old record machine parts. Well, stop fooling around with that and fix the hole in that diver suit. Well, we might as well try this anyway. Hi there, I'm Mickey Rooney. I have an important message for you. Well, what do you know? Well, Fred, it's working all right now. Boy, they sure are doing a big business at Francois's restaurant next door. Oh, smell that food. Don't you know it isn't polite to smell other people's food? How come they're doing so much business and we're not doing any? Maybe we ought to turn this place into a restaurant. Mm. Maybe we can get the people to come in here after they've been over there, huh? Well, gentlemen, can we... Oh, Monsieur Francois. Huh? There you are. I wondered where you disappeared to from behind the menus. Oh, <laughs> not anymore. Uh, that is the wall I was telling you about. Oh, yeah. I, excuse me, but is there something we can do for you, gentlemen? Here. I get it. You want that whole wall out of there, huh? That is correct. That will make the uh, room more accessible from the kitchen. Uh, you, you sound like you have quite a problem here. If there's something you see that we don't have, we'll gladly put it on order for you, won't we? Yeah. There ought to be room here for at least a dozen tables, and then we can put uh, booths along the wall. Tables and booths? No, wait, just a moment, gentlemen. You, you sound like this place was a restaurant or something. And <laughs> Tomorrow, it will be. Well, tomorrow it might be, but today it's a... Tomorrow it will be? But, uh... Oh, I think you're a little mixed up, sir, if you don't mind my saying it. You see, my, my partner and I, we are the proprietors of this place, and we have no intentions of going into the restaurant business. Huh? That's right. You are the owners of this place? That's, That's right, sir. Right. But what about Mr. Schweitzer? Oh, we oh. bought him out the day before yesterday. In a very clever financial maneuver, if I do say so myself. But did not Mr. Schweitzer tell you that I own this building? And that I am going to turn this place into an addition to my restaurant? No, he... He, that must have skipped his mind, I think. Oh, no, wait, wait just a minute. We have a five-year lease to this place. That's right. Show him, Mick. Oh, yes, I, I, have, it, I have it right here, Mr. Francois. It's a five-year lease, and it says here, five, five years for five years. Yes, but it also says it expired yesterday. Expired <laughs> yesterday? Oh. There goes a thousand oh, bucks. I'm terribly you sorry. Can't do this to us, please. We're there. We've got the stockholders to think of. A hundred and five percent of them. Oh, believe me, gentlemen, I wish I could help you, but I have already made arrangements to have that wall torn out tomorrow. Francois, I figure if we cut through the wall about here, that should do the job. Oh, that is very good. Very good. Hey, Mick. Hey, look, he's marking up the wall. Ready? We're calling an emergency meeting of the stockholders the first thing in the morning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
as chairman of the board, I have called an emergency meeting of the stockholders of this company because we have had a few dire problems arise. And I think that it's time that we took the bull by the horns. We have... May I have a word, please? Yes, you, you, uh, you, you can speak, Mr. Brown, but I have, the, uh, I have to recognize. The chair recognizes Mr. Brown. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I think that... Thank you, Mr. Brown, and we will remember those words for a long time. What did he say? Uh, please, Pop, we have to keep going right along. I want to say something. All, all right, you, you, can, you can speak, Pop, but I, I've got to say... The chair recognizes my Pop. <laughs> well, I've been thinking... Huh? I've been thinking this over, and in my... Hi, folks. Having a meeting? Don't mind me. Go right ahead. Well, I sympathize with your son, but I've been looking into the legal aspects of this, and uh, we don't have a leg to stand upon. So I move we liquidate. We have one vote for liquidation. How about two out? a moral victory. Thanks to your father, we got all our money back. Sergeant Joe Mulligan, super sleuth. <laughs> well, I figured if I had the Bunko Squad look into this guy Schweitzer, they might turn something up. And turn something up, they did. This Mr. Schweitzer had quite a change of heart. He bought the lease back, we got all our money back. Yeah, the whole thousand dollars, that's quite a change of heart. Bon appétit. As the honored guests of Francois at the opening of the new Cellar Guerroum, the dinner is on me. Well, a garçon. <laughs> Mr. Schweitzer, that's la vie. If you can't lick them, join them. A garçon, serve the champagne at the other table. Certain moon. May I suggest our special for today? It is a new dish in your honor. Mulligan stew. Uh, Mulligan stew. <laughs> Well, uh, fellow stockholders, <clears throat> as chairman of the board, uh, may I suggest that seeing how our first financial adventure was very successful, that we look in tonight's paper and see what new business we can apply our money to. After all, when you stop and think about it, it takes money to make money. For instance, look at this place and... Mickey Rooney will be back in just a moment. And now a word from next week's sponsor. And that, friends, was a good word from the folks who will be bringing you our next show. Until then, good night, friends. <laughs>